What's up, Space Pirates? This is your captain, the Dread Pirate Doctor Disaster, and it's been a few days since we last checked in on Ubisoft. You may be wondering how their stock price is doing, and let me tell you that they have officially now lost over half their market value since July 17th. Well, that's f***ing not good. The Ubisoft stock was downgraded right before the weekend, meaning that investors are being advised by certain analysts not to buy the stock. So, there was a strong chance that it was going to continue to tumble, and naturally, it fell another 3%. Articles like this one constantly try to defend Ubisoft. This talk about GTA 6 competition hurting Ubisoft is pure bullshit, for example. It's just an excuse. The real problem is that Ubisoft is a sleazy piece of garbage company that keeps on embroiling themselves in unnecessary controversy, so it makes complete sense that investors would bail. Take this story about bots being used on the Assassin's Creed Shadows trailer, for example. Ubisoft was caught using bots to promote this trailer, and yet still they managed to be completely obliterated on the ratio with 19,000 likes to a staggering 84,000 dislikes. This game, and therefore this company, is cooked. I say let it die! Let it die, let it die, let it shrivel up and... Come on, who's with me, huh? Alright me hearties, make sure you hit the like button on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We just broke through another subscriber milestone, which means that it is time for me to ask the obligatory question. How many assholes we got on this ship anyhow? Yo! We have just crossed the 62,000 subscriber count milestone, meaning there are 62,000 space pirate a-holes running amok, which means that it's time to add a new ship to our fleet. You see, on this channel, it's customary that with every thousand subscribers, I add a new ship in order to house the newcomers. This time, one of you selected the SDF-1 Macross from Robotech. If you have any suggestions for the next ship, make sure to drop them in the comment section below, and I will add them to my long list. Super Chats get prioritized to the top of the list, but in any event, thanks for being here, everyone. I knew it. I'm surrounded by assholes. But okay, let's talk about Ubisoft and the very shitty last two months that they have been experiencing, because it has been exactly two months since their big shareholder meeting, which took place on July 17th. During that meeting, investors grilled the CEO with questions about Star Wars Outlaws. You see, at the time, the first gameplay footage for that game had been leaked, and people were complaining about the lack of quality of the graphics and the gameplay mechanics and pretty much everything you could think of to complain about, because it looked like complete dog shit. The CEO of the company, though, basically told the investors to go pound sand and to stop worrying about it. And it has been going downhill ever since. This right here is when that investor call happened, and the launch of Star Wars Outlaws only made things worse as word spread that sales of that piece of shit were abysmal. This is when that game was released, and you can see that the stock price dropped like a rock right after. And it sure doesn't look like Assassin's Creed Shadows is going to save them at all. The world trailer was released a few days ago, and I reported on the fact that it was ratioed in less than a day. But with the news that there were bots being employed to boost the numbers on this thing, I thought it would be interesting to double check and see how the ratio was doing. 
I figured maybe Ubisoft would buy their way out of the ratio, but I guess not, because like I said earlier, they are sitting on a ratio of 19,000 likes to 84,000 dislikes at the time of this recording. People have had it with this company by and large, and gamers just are not interested in overpriced, underdeveloped slop. They just aren't interested. The actual people in the comment section, the real people, not the bots, are ripping the trailer a new one. This guy has 13,000 likes on his comment. That's about two-thirds of the likes of the actual video. He wrote, Ubisoft, how fake do you want the comments to be? Investor, yes. And then this person said, investing money to create a good game? Nah. Investing money to buy reviews and comments? Absolutely. And yeah, when you say that out loud, it really doesn't seem like a very good business strategy, does it? But this person said, imagine being a quadruple A company and needing to do bot comments. Well, that's why we're watching them slowly go out of business in real time here. And then this person wrote, bots don't buy games. No matter how many bots you use, no one is going to buy shitty games. And then we come to this comment, which had me chuckling pretty hard. It says, I am a bot account paid to post a positive review, but after looking at the trailer, I have changed my mind. I have standards. Ooh, that's gonna hurt! Gamers are absolutely ripping this game apart. It's no wonder that the stock price keeps declining. Investors have to be scared of the negative sentiment. And it's not like Ubisoft is really doing anything to improve customer relations. They seem focused, laser focused, on making it all worse. Every time they turn around, they're just making more controversial decisions. They told us earlier this year to be comfortable not owning our games. They raised prices on things and called their titles the first quadruple A games. They made K Vess purposely ugly in Star Wars Outlaws because they wanted to make a feminist statement against the so-called male gaze. They inserted the controversial Yasuke shit into Assassin's Creed Shadows. Even if you agree with any or all of these choices, you have to admit that those were unnecessary controversies that a company in Ubisoft's position can ill afford. But their arrogance is catching up to them. These guys aren't Disney or EA, after all. They don't have untold billions of dollars just sitting around to bail them out for the next few decades as they continue to make absolute stupid decisions, they are in trouble now. They're on the path to becoming a penny stock at this stage, and I don't see them turning it around without doing a complete 180 on their attitude toward everything. But I'm going to leave it there. Make sure to drop some mockery of Ubisoft in the comment section below, and we will talk there. Thanks for watching me hearties, if you haven't already, your captain is inviting you to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the crew. Life as a space pirate may not be glamorous, but there's always plenty of booty.